Well, hi, this is uh, Chase Swift, and I'm going to show you in this video how to set up Gmail on your iPhone with two-step verification. So let's get started. As you can see here, I have my phone, and it's connected in this recording, so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And as you can see, I have uh, Gmail running at the bottom. And what I'm going to do is go to... Uh, the little well and this is an app so just the little lines there and then i'm going to go to my current account and i'm actually going to manage accounts now so if you don't have the gmail app you can download it from the app store really easily i'm going to oh, add another account and uh, down at the bottom you can see here create an account so just touch that now i'm just going to put my name okay and again, I'm doing this right off my iPhone. So this would be exactly what you would do. And I'm just going to do kind of a test email. Okay, so um, I'm going to just do C Swift. And then a bunch of numbers. How about 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, something like that. So um, then I'm going to create a password. And let's do... Actually, you're going to be able to see that, won't you? That's okay. Um, I will be changing this. Actually, you know what I can do is just blur it out. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and confirm it. Okay. Then I would pick uh, the birth month of my birthday. I'll do that. The day and the year, done a while ago, of course. All right. Now, gender, I don't know why there's uh, more than one option, but there is, so I'll just do that. And I'm going to put in my cell phone number, as you would, or as you should. Okay. And then a current email address just for backup uh, potential. Okay, and the at sign is there. Whoops. All right, just about ready. Okay, I need to prove, and I'll uh, click done. Now, I need to prove that I'm not a robot, so I'm going to check that. Skip this verification. Okay, I'm in the United States. I'm going to agree and click continue. Okay, so there's my new email address. Let's go back to the service. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do is probably switch to another app. So what I'm going to do is use Google Chrome on my phone again. My account. Let's view that. Let's see that. That could be viewing the app. Okay. And let's sign out of that account. So it took me just a, a thought or two to get back there. Okay. Let's just go to google.com. Okay, so it's hard. Let me sign in with a different account. I'm going to add that account and put in. I know this is terribly boring. But you're watching exactly how to do it. Okay, there we go. Do you want Google Chrome? Uh, I'll, normally I would say yes, but I'll, I'll just close that out. Okay. Sign in security. That's probably where we're going to... Okay, let's go back up. It's got to be... Could be under security checkup, but I'm going to guess in it's sign in security, so I'm going to go to that. Okay. 
Okay. There it is. Two step verification is currently off. So I'm going to click on the pencil or touch it. And I can't see as well, so let me switch that. So it requires that a phone uh, is set up. So that looks good. I'm going to start the setup. Okay, now remember, I had my phone set up earlier. I'm going to send a text message. So I'm going to send the code. Okay. 652429. Okay. 652. Okay. And then check verify. Okay, so I'll switch back over here. Now you could print off some um, verification codes, which means you don't have to have your phone. Press this computer, which is this phone. I'm just going to take that off. And I'll say don't trust. You could probably leave it on and then click confirm. Okay. So there it is. So as you can see, two-step verification is on. And I did it on my phone, completely on my phone with a brand new Gmail account. So um, that are the, those are the steps. And if you want to rewind this video, um, you can watch the steps again. It's pretty well, everything I did was right on my phone. Now before I go, I just want to mention that I do help people, and I enjoy helping people uh, with their phones, with their computers. And if you've ever thought about earning a secondary income, there's some information in the description of this video that will lead you to the information that I saw and what I'm doing. It's not technical. It's not hard. It's just a secondary income. may not be right for you. but uh, and, and you probably need a computer. You probably need more than just... Uh, a phone. You need a, a computer. But if you're interested, check that out. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.